In this video, we're going to go over how to use frames in Canva to create designs for printables and anything else that you might be designing in Canva. Let's get started. To begin, you'll have your design and then you'll wanna go over to the left menu where it says elements and click on that. This is where frames live in Canva. You'll have to scroll down kind of far to see where it is and you can click through the frames here or click see all under frames. You can also go to elements and then type up here frames and it'll have suggestions for the shapes, or you can just click search frames and it'll bring up that same section where you can click see all. They're also really handy to give you a bunch of options up here in case you already know what you want. Say you wanted a Polaroid frame for something you were doing that had that kind of look, so you could click on one of those, but we're gonna start with something simple and go back and do just a basic circle frame. So we'll head down to frames and we'll click on the one we want, all you do is click on it and it will automatically show up in your design. You can resize it by dragging it, by clicking the corners and making it bigger or making it smaller, depending on what you want in your design. Now to use the frame, you will go back to either elements or your uploads, either one, wherever you have the photo that you want to use. So let's say for this one, we want a cute animal. We're doing something with animal theme. So we are going to find us a cute little animal. Let's use this puppy. All you do is click on it over here and drag it across. It's super easy. If you want to make sure that it's aligned correctly, you will double click on it and then you can adjust where the picture is showing. It shows you this grid with the frame outlined and whatever is shown inside the frame is what will show once you stop dragging it around. So to finish that, you can click up here done or double click again. If you decide you don't like that picture and you wanna change it, you can click on the picture and then click this delete button and it will allow you to either delete the image or the frame. To remove the image, you click delete image. Another way to remove the image is to click on the frame with image in it and just click the delete button. It removes the image first and then if you click delete again, it will remove the frame. Then if you wanna change it out, you can go ahead and find a different photo and move it over. And again, you can also double click and make the image bigger inside. You can do this by dragging the edges so that it's a little bit bigger inside the frame. That's really all you do to use frames. You can also do all of the things you normally do with a photo in Canva. You can edit the image and flip it, crop it, all of those things by clicking up here in this top menu. So let's get rid of this one and show you something else you can do. Let's go back to frames and look at some of the other options. There are all sorts of different frames that you can use in your designs. Canva has a ton that are free. It makes designing really, really easy if you are designing printables or things for a shop on Etsy. For example, you can do alphabet stuff really, really quickly with this type of design function. You can pick an A frame or any of the alphabet. So you just pick this and then you can go over to elements and say, let's say animal print. So you have the frame here and then you can just pick a photo that you like. Let's say you like this realistic cheetah print and bring that over. Or you could do some of the graphics. You can see up here it has graphics. Certain graphics are designed in a way that you can also use them. So you would just drag it over. And as you can see, it fills in with the graphic as well. It really just depends on what you're wanting to do. There's a ton of different free graphics and photos. You can just click through on the side doing either graphics or photos and it will load all of these and you can play around with what you actually wanna fill your frame with. But of course this makes it super easy and quick. You can just resize it as needed and then if you wanted to do the whole alphabet, you could do that. That's just one example. Of course, there are tons of different frames. This is also really great for some quick mock-ups. So if you have a design that you're wanting to show off, they have a lot of these kind of computer frame, computer and phone mock-up shapes. So you can do a mock-up with all of the different sizes of something. If you're doing a digital product, you can put it on different ways and show kind of what you're selling and what it will look like on different screens. Lots of different options here in Canva, but that's how you use frames and I hope it's really helpful for you in all of your designs.